Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the new Wacom Intuos 5 multi-touch tablet. I'll show you what's in the box. So you've got your tablet here. It comes in a plastic case. You can take that out. Got your pen and the pen holder. And then your USB cable. It's a standard cable. Take the ends off it. And then it's also got your instruction manual on how to set it up. So a couple new features with this tablet is that it's got more of a rubber coating to it. Um, it's not as plastic as the fourth version of it. This is the medium tablet and then it also has the full multi-touch gestures which is the main difference between the four and five versions. So if you have a MacBook it's just like your trackpad on there. Everything works the exact same when plugged into your laptop. It's got one to five gestures and it should work with Windows 7 as well for multi-touch. Um, overall it's got a lot better feel to it, um, a lot more sturdy and not like it's going to scratch or break or anything since it has this rubber finish to it. The next thing we're going to do is plug it into the computer. So if you're right handed, you're going to want it facing this direction. This is going to be on your left side and if you're left handed, all the buttons on the right side. You plug the USB cable in on the left side if you're right handed. Take your laptop and just plug it into the USB port. And if you're running a MacBook it should automatically recognize it but we're gonna go ahead and install the driver so it works properly with all the software. So let's head on over and do that. Alright, so once you've plugged your tablet into your computer, let's head on over to the website and download the driver. Go to Wacom.com, Customer Care and Product Drivers. It's going to ask you your tablet model. I have the Intuos 5, and I'm using Mac OS X. So it's got one driver here right now, it was released in April. 2012 so it's the most updated one. I actually already have it installed so I'm going to skip that but usually you just hit download and it should pop up and then just follow the installer to install that. So then let's go to our system preferences and this model does not have the Bluetooth capabilities that the previous Intuos 4 wireless did but it does have an accessory wireless add-on it's almost like a mouse, USB mouse, that has a wireless. Um, they were having some problems with the Windows version of it, so they decided just to create their own module. So once you've installed it in your system preferences, you should have this new ink option, and then your tablet down here. Let me click on the tablet. And so here it's got all my settings. I can either touch on the tablet or use the pen to move. I'm just simply touching right now, it's just like my trackpad. I can change all these settings for how speed, double tap time, um, here's all the gestures. Um, you can turn these on and off and if you hover over them it will give you a little animation of what exactly it does and you can also create uh, some custom ones. So four fingers I can tell it to show my desktop if I swipe up. Um, if I swipe down, it goes to expose. So here's a little bit, and you can also change these for the pen. And then the functions is on your tablet, it's got all the function keys. These are touch, so if I hold one, you can see here that it brings up this menu on my screen. And as long as these are touch, it's going to keep showing. So I can turn like 
touch on and off based on that. But if you just touch and hold one, it should bring it up. And if multiple, if my fingers are in multiple ones, they will show yellow. So a lot of people ask, what can I actually do with this tablet? How can it help me out? I'm just going to give you a quick demo here of what you can do with it. So I've got this image of this girl here in Photoshop. So this girl's got a lot of freckles, and I just want to quickly remove some. So I can either use the clone stamp tool, or I'm going to use the spot healing brush tool. Uh, shortcut bracket keys on your keyboard will make it bigger. But I can just quickly draw a selection, and it fixes it. So for photographers, this is great. Instead of using your mouse to have, get those exact points, and I'm not even zoomed in that much. You can just draw the points that I want to fix. You can do a lot with it. So it's just a spot healing brush tool. Um, I can take the clone stamp tool, select a point, get that exact spot. It's obviously ruining the image, but I just want to show how you can draw on it. Or I can just take the brush, brush tool, make a color, any color, I'm just using black for right now, but I can draw all over it. So for photographers, you can easily fix up your images. For artists, you can draw just a blank document and draw a photograph. Um, you can also use this in Illustrator. I found it works great for the pen tool as you can get those exact curves that you're looking for a lot easier than is if you were using a pen. So I got that a lot easier using the pen rather than a mouse. Um, that's just a couple quick functions that you can use with it. For more tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube page and be sure to check our blog. Thanks for watching.